Hi beautiful. Today I'm going to talk to you about three things that you need in a relationship for you to be happy and three things that you need to do for your man for him to be happy. Um, it's got to do with masculine and feminine energy. We'll discuss it all but I will first of all go into what you need for you to be happy so that if you want to send this video to your boyfriend he only has to watch the first part or your husband okay so what a woman needs in a long-term relationship to feel fulfilled is the following three things number one she needs to feel safe as much as we try to swing that cat and we try to say that we can do it all for ourselves which we can which is fine but we're talking about a relationship of two people right now if you want to be happy you need to feel from your male partner that if shit hits the fan he will be there and he'll be able to step up even if you have a 50 50 relationship even if you both work even if he's smaller than you and you're the one who goes to the gym there is something in a woman that will feel happy in a long-term relationship if he is willing and able to develop himself to the point where she feels safe with him physically financially and emotionally that means that he will be there for her no matter what emotionally if she has having an off day if she's feeling a bit crazy if she's crazy like we love to say about women right that he will be there for her there is a safety in the fact that even if you guys both work that if you were not able to because you have children or something happens that he could look after you that is one of the most important things to a woman in a relationship the second most important thing to a woman in a relationship is to feel valued now it's different from a man and i'm going to go into the male ones afterwards but to feel valued is different than being appreciated because appreciated is for things you do and sure we need a myriad of things and we're all different but to feel valued is intrinsically valued for who you are a valuable upheld some people say it in the paradigm worshipped by your partner that who you are without putting in any effort so if he was to compliment you he wouldn't say i love how you can take care of the household i love how you can take care of our kids i love that you don't even need me to provide for you not valued for things you do not like that but valued for who you are like i see you i value you you are my number one priority aside from children and family what you feel matters so safe valued and lastly she needs to feel intimacy with him or connection whichever word you want to use a lot of times when a woman feels safe and she feels valued and everything's going well she feels like something's missing what is missing it's that connection and when men hear intimacy they think sex but that's not what it means it means that you can connect with him on a personal level and he's there to hear you and he will put things down and connect with you and you'll have personal jokes and you will have a closeness that you don't share with anybody else he will remember details about you he will remember small things about you and you have that kind of thing where you feel very important and very held by him so those are the three things that I find women really need to flourish in a relationship and if one of them is missing something in her feels like something's missing now for men I found that the number one thing a man needs in a relationship um, is to have freedom. Um, that means freedom to be himself and freedom to um, do what he pleases. Even if it's perceived freedom, and I don't mean this in a manipulative tactic, I just mean this in a logical sense where it's his choice. He has ownership over the situation. And the thing I often get met with when I give this advice is that, yeah, but if I give him freedom, then he drinks or he gambles or he does nothing around the house. Well, to that I say, please be mindful and think very carefully about the partner you choose. Because if him being the person you want to be with is variable on the fact that you are controlling his behavior, that is going to be a very long and difficult life to have so if you do not give him freedom you track where he goes or you guide him daily to do what he needs to do the dynamic is going to be a hard and broken one 
it's going to be one where you are constantly monitoring, constantly molding this person, this square peg into a round hole, rounding his corners. And keep in mind, nobody's going to be ideal or perfect for you. So I always think that you have to accept inadequacies, which are natural and everybody has them. Trust me, you have them. Men just don't point them out as much unless they're trying to be abusive and not put up with um, huge character flaws and abuse towards yourself. So you need to put up with, like, if a person's messy or if a person is um, doesn't reply as much, that's just personality traits that people have. You have them too, I have them too. Nobody's perfect, right? But I would say that giving somebody freedom, and especially for a man, that is the number one thing to remain themselves. In their mind, you chose them as them. They won you as themselves. They were good enough for you. So how is it that now you've got them, you need to remold them and reframe them and remake them and redo them and teach them almost like a mother how to live life. That makes no sense to them and it really kills the masculine energy in them. Thing number two, they need to feel supported by their partner. Supported, meaning, not financially, not not safe like in the woman's sense, but supported as in if he has a goal or a dream or a desire to fulfill something, that you are not the naysayer in his life, that you are not the block, that you are not the questioner of it all, but a genuine support because it takes a lot of strength in order to support someone's dreams and ambitions. And it's a very admirable thing to do for somebody. Um, and often when we say support, it goes with the word submission, but it's not to do with that at all. It's very important to put yourself aside and your questioning aside. And in the same way that I would advise men to really be patient with women when they're going through their day, whether that's their cycle, whether that's having children, they have to be quite stoic in the face of that. I would advise women to be supportive if you've got a good partner of his dreams, desires and potential because if you don't support it, it's very hard for it to flourish. And thing number three is that they need to feel needed. Needed in terms of um, <clears throat> very different from, like I said, valued. They need to be needed in terms of things that they do. I, I want you to notice the things that they do and reframe them almost, even if they aren't, as something that they're doing for you because it will amplify them and it will make them feel like there is a mission and they are the leader in that mission, which they want to fulfill for you and the family. You really need to see that a person, a man needs to feel needed by his family to, to make sure that he feels that when he comes home and for all the things he does to really notice them and verbalize that he's needed. Now, people say, well, what do you mean free but needed? As in, I need you and you are vital and I see everything you do and thank you for all the things that you do, but you're free to be yourself. I chose you for who you are and I know that you're making the right decisions in the long run. And that's a very vulnerable position to find yourself in because I think we find a partner and the vulnerability that one has to deploy in order to let them be them especially for women, because we are scared of being vulnerable, um, is difficult. I don't often hear men say, I waste the best years on you. I don't often hear men say, well, now it's been 10 years, because they will gamble, that kind of thing. I guess because they don't have a biological reproduction time. But for women, they have scarcity mindset when it comes to uh, putting their trust in a partner. But this is the magic trick if you'll hear me out. If you put your trust in a partner and you don't try and mold them and you let them know that they're needed and you support them, you will find out sooner rather than later if they're the right person for you. What ends up happening um, is we waste a long time with the person who's wrong for us because essentially we're putting our perception of their potential onto them and not actually letting them express themselves for who they are. So again, for women, security, value, and um, connection, and of course men would want that too, but those are the most important, and for a man the most important, and women want these too, but 
freedom to be themselves, um, to be needed, and to be um, and to be supported. Anyway, guys, please add what you feel that you really need in your relationship. And if you're a man or a woman, in the comments below. My energy is a bit peaceful today. <laughs> I've had a podcast today already. I um, have one of my son's daycare colds, so that's fun. And daycare is just messaging me now. So thanks for watching. I'll be more bushy-tailed on the next one, but I hope this resonated and it helped you reframe something in some kind of way.